One by one, we're gonna meet them all and solve that mystery. Welcome to Ms. Mojo. And today, we're counting down our picks for the top 10 ripoffs of Scooby Doo. Oh, three cheers for me! For this list, we're ranking the animated series that took the Scooby-Doo template and ran with it for all it was worth. We're not saying these shows were bad, per se, but rather commenting on how far-reaching the Mystery Incorporated brand has lasted over the years. Did you grow up watching any of these shows? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. Super Friends Wait, you might be saying, isn't Super Friends a DC animated series? Well, you're correct, actually, with one minor difference. Actually, make that two minor differences. The Wonder Twins. These crime-fighting superheroes activated their powers in the Super Friends animated franchise from Hanna-Barbera. Wonder Twin powers, activate! However, they weren't the only connective tissue to Scooby-Doo's mystery-solving legacy and this DC series. Wendy, Marvin, and Wonder Dog were a trio of crime-fighting sidekicks concocted by Hanna-Barbera to make Super Friends feel more like a Scooby-Doo show. Those three junior Super Friends, Wendy, Marvin, and Wonder Dog. And you know what? Both efforts worked. After all, the phrase Wonder Twin Powers Activate still gets mentioned in the pop culture zeitgeist today. Dad always used to say we're stronger when we stick together. Powers Activate. Number 9. Fang Face. The Scooby-Doo formula of attaching a pet or monster to a group of mystery-solving young people wasn't the exclusive property of Hanna-Barbera. At least, not when it came to Fangface. Hey! Cut that out! It's us! Ooh, ooh, sorry! Ooh, ooh! That's because this animated series came from the minds of ex-Hanna-Barbera employees. So it's totally different, right? Well, not really. The Scooby-Doo-isms are definitely still there, right down to the group of nosy kids. Looks to me like we're all gonna fall into another adventure. The main difference here is that one of these kids, Sherman Fangs Fangsworth, is a werewolf. Make that a crime-solving werewolf. It's as silly as it sounds and definitely a product of the late 70s, but it's also a lot of innocent throwback fun as well. <laughs> Number 8. Clue Club The post-Scooby-Doo universe featured a bevy of animated upstarts, seeking to cast their lot in against Mystery Incorporated. Clue Club solves a crime! I knew it all the time! Clue Club was one of those blink-and-you'll-miss-it attempts, a series that never hid its pretensions as a sub-Scooby imposter. Still, Clue Club tried to up the ante by including not one, but two mystery-sniffing dogs. Just where do you all think you're going? Check around back. Woofer and Wimper were certainly no Scooby-Doo. Heck, they weren't even up to Scooby-Dum's level. However, they're still heaps better than Scrappy-Doo. Although, that isn't saying much. Scrappy-Dappy-Doo! Ghosts don't stand a chance with me! Let me at them! Rock them! Suck em. Woofer, Wimper, and their human pals got into a single season's worth of adventures before episodes were shaved down and slid into other Hanna-Barbera programs. Now watch it. Well, now we'll see who our musician really is. Why, it's Mr. Whitaker, the theater owner. Number 7. The Amazing Chan and the Chan Clan Life sure isn't easy when your father's a detective. The character of Charlie Chan definitely possesses a complex history when it comes to Asian representation. The most popular iterations of Chan were never portrayed by actors of Asian descent. That said, it was important that the Amazing Chan and the Chan Clan featured Chinese actor Ki Luke voicing the title character. But if Buckley's here, who? I believe the gentleman you have there should turn out to be the curator. The show hit all of the expected Scooby-Doo story beats, along with their pet dog Choo Choo assisting in solving the mysteries. Oh, and they also perform rock music in their spare time, of course, usually in music video form for the audience at home. Looking in the shadows, hiding behind a wall, searching every clue out when I fall, I fall. The show unfortunately didn't last long, and some of the stereotypes haven't aged well. But the Chan Clan still holds a historic part of Asian American TV history. Number 6. Dino Mutt, Dog Wonder Dino Mutt Dog Wonder had something of a leg up on its competition back in 1976. 
This was due to the fact that Scooby himself would occasionally appear on the show, creating something of an early crossover. You know what to do, kids. Right. We go around back and set up a Scooby trap. The titular Dino Mutt was actually cybernetic, a robot dog similar to Inspector Gadget, who's tasked with helping another superhero, the Blue Falcon. The show was simple and throwaway entertainment for the Saturday morning generation, but this doesn't mean that it didn't have fans. Hi? Uh, where? <laughs> Huh? It's Dino Mutt, Dog Wonder. In fact, the Dino Mutt character is one of the few ripoffs from this era that's still remembered today. And that's gotta count for something, right? Why they solve crimes and save the world together. Cool. Ooh. Number five, the Funky Phantom. Oh, what do we do? Disappear. What else? Oh, that's easy for you to say. Speaking of forgotten, younger viewers can probably thank the Mike Tyson mysteries for renewing interest in this otherwise obscure animated show from the early 70s. That's because a character on that show, a ghost of the Marquess of Queensbury, bears a striking animated resemblance to the Funky Phantom. Okay, guys, listen up. Oh! Marcus, you scared the bejesus out of me, man. Why you gotta be creeping? The OG series was actually a collaboration between Hanna-Barbera and Australian producers, seeking yet again to capitalize on the success of Scooby-Doo. There's a supernatural element here, sure, but also young protagonists and a dog. Not to mention a ghost cat named Boo. <laughs> The show is profoundly weirder than other examples on this list, and for that reason alone, worthy of some investigation. Tell them Iron Mike sent you. Not now, we're in the middle of a damn mystery. Number four, Speed Buggy. But, 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 but I'm just a, a little car. Contrary to other Scooby-Doo ripoffs spotlighted here, Speed Buggy contains no crime-solving canine or feline in the lead. Instead, this animated show decided to go the four-wheel route and had a talking car take criminals to task. Relax, relax, and leave the driving to me. It's honestly as strange as it sounds, and definitely indicative of early 70s animation and its toss-everything-at-the-wall approach. However, Speed Buggy was another single-season series that gained new life not only thanks to syndication, but also to retro appreciation. The titular Speed Buggy made an appearance, alongside many other Hanna-Barbera characters, in the Adult Swim series Harvey Birdman, Attorney at Law. Here, an otherwise obscure Scooby-Doo knockoff was brought out of retirement to ride once more. Again, if you're just joining us, what you're seeing is happening live. A rust-colored dune buggy. And again, Penta me as fiori, go! He's now trying to get away on foot. Number three, Jabberjaw. Hey, what's the big idea? Don't you know I'm a hero? Jabberjaw, that talking, crime-solving shark, was another Hanna-Barbera character that guest starred on Harvey Birdman. However, it could be argued that Jabberjaw the series may be a bit better remembered than some of its contemporaries. Could it be due to the quality of animation and storylines? Maybe, but better guess is probably just that Jabberjaw was frankly a strange creation, and an even stranger shark. I don't get no respect! For starters, he played drums in a rock band, the Neptunes. Jabberjaw's voice actor, the esteemed Frank Welker, is clearly doing a Three Stooges impersonation of Curly with his performance. You think he can handle it, Jabber? Are you kidding? If he gives me any trouble, I'll... And then I'll give him one of these. It all combines to make Jabberjaw perhaps the greatest fish-out-of-water mystery crew to rival Scooby and the gang. Number two, Captain Caveman and the Teen Angels. Dee Dee! Captain Caveman and the Teen Angels is the sort of glorious mishmash that could have only been born in the 1970s. After all, Charlie's Angels fever was still white hot after the show first debuted in 1976, so why not try and capitalize on the animation front? Hello? It's Charlie Angel. Time to go to work. Okay. As a result, Captain Caveman combined the mystery-solving antics of Scooby-Doo with a trio of young, capable female protagonists. Of course, the fact that the antics of KV could also be gently connected with something out of the Flintstones didn't hurt either. It all made little sense in execution, but on paper, it was a whole bunch of popular properties smushed together to make a very weird Saturday morning cartoon. Captain Caveman! Now 
we look for clues. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, Josie and the Pussycats. Let's show him, girls. Your quick change, artists? No, we're Pussycats, silly. Listen. The original Josie and the Pussycats only ran for a single season before being revamped in an outer space setting a year later. However, the legacy of this otherwise innocuous Scooby-Doo ripoff has surprisingly endured far beyond its initial run. Much of this success probably comes down to the fact that Josie and her bandmates were already established properties of the Archie comic series prior to being adapted by Hanna-Barbera. You know what? I still don't understand why you're here. I'm here because I was in the comic book. What? Nothing. However, the show was forward-thinking with the character of Valerie Brown, the first recurring African-American character for a Saturday morning cartoon show. Additionally, the show's memorable theme and likable characters made it easy for Josie and the Pussycats to be adapted years later for new movies and television shows. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.